28th annual Pacific Coast Fog Fest Parade. Our motto this year is surf's up, and it definitely is just a little bit to our west. <laughs> now, for your enjoyment, Mr. Tom Stafford, principal at Cabrillo School and the marching band contest uh, Fog Fest Parade volunteer, he's been teaching kids to sing their hearts out for years now. He's going to sing his heart out for you, singing the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly gleaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Tom Stafford. Now let's play ball. No, wait. Let's have a parade. OK, here we are, the 28th annual Fog Fest Parade. Our very first entry is the police Pacifica Police Department squad car an exact replica of one of the original Pacifica Police Department cars driven by Reserve Ofi Officer Ken Fong. It's a 1959 Chevrolet Biscayne four-door and is refurbished with the help of donations from several local businesses. And right next to them we have the Veterans of the Foreign Wars Post 10245. The Veterans of Foreign Wars of the United States is comprised of all five branches of the military service. Pacifica Post 10245 is comprised of veterans from World War II to the present Afghanistan War. They meet at the American Legion Hall on the first Thursday of the month at 3 p.m. and welcome all veterans to join. Give it up. <laughs> veterans of Foreign Wars. Yeah. Okay, next come up here we have the Fog Fest Parade theme float this year. The Pacifica Parade Committee welcomes you to Surf's Up. The surfboard float built and being pulled by Brad Wall is a homemade replica of Jay Moriarty's board used in the movie Chasing Mavericks. This float creatively depicts a young surfer girl, Savannah Coleman, and her mermaid friend, Juliana Wall, riding a perfect Pacifica wave. Cowabunga! Ready for the Grand Marshals, all right. We have none other than Grand Marshal Grant Washburn. One of the tallest competitors in the history of big wave surfing, Grant has towered over the likes of Matt Ambrose and the Dwyer family for more than two decades. Beyond Mavericks, Grant <laughs> casts his shadow over surf events in Africa, Mexico, Oregon, and South America, where he's known as El Gigante. 
Now, Matt Ambrose is unable to be with us today due to last minute work commitments. So in his place, Grant is joined by his lovely wife and two princesses. They're driven today by Joe Swisher in a 1970 Oldsmobile Cutlass owned by our Fogfest organizing group president, Larry Passmore Jr. Oh, stop that car. Don't go any farther. Because right we have other Grand Marshals, Colin Dwyer, Steve Dwyer, and Travis Payne. They're proud to represent the Dwyer and Payne families, the Pacifica First Community in Northern California here at the 28th Fog Fest. And now we have more Grand Marshals, the Keating family. The Keatings have been surfing San Pedro Bay since 1937. The family built their first home here in 1942 on Pedro Point. These classic 53 and 55 Chevys represent three of four generations of Keatings still surfing San Pedro Bay. Dick Keating was a surfing and equipment innovator most of his life. Driving the truck is Andy Anderson. In the back is daughter Shauna Keating Anderson and a lot of grandkids. I want to give you a little bit of a rundown of some of our sponsors that have been helping us uh, make this a great festival here today. We have the Bay Area News Group and the Pacifica Tribune, one of our sponsors, as well as Comcast Infinity, which, of course, keeps this TV station going, too, by the way. Uh, First National Bank of Northern California. Jamba Juice, KFOG, and Lagunitas Brewery. There'll be more. Okay, we have the next entry ready. This is the Pacifica Historical Society. We have uh, John Linder driving his 50-ish tractor trailer back there with photo replicas of our future Pacifica Museums. The Pacifica Museum Center at Salada and Francisco is open for you to enjoy their first exhibit on surfing. PHS President Kathleen Manning is driving her Chrysler LeBaron with Barbara Greer and Joanne Zavoral. Friend Evie Medford is in her 2011 Mercedes with David Canepa. The vice mayor of Daly City, he grew up here, and his heart is here, too. Ah, <laughs> oh, now we have Jack, Jack Dodson the, in the 2007 Red Ford Hybrid with Carl Baldwin, our first Pacifica city manager. On the roof is a piggy bank for the Pacifica Museum Center. And coming up there, we have uh, Vice President Erica Wrigling driving her 2007 Red Subaru Forester. The walkers here are students and volunteers for the Historical Society. Come see the surfing exhibit at the Little Brown Church at the corner of Salada and Francisco today and tomorrow. Hey, I'll give you some more of our, our uh, sponsors. We have also Longboard Margarita Bar. And hey, here comes a sponsor now. Macy's. <laughs> Macy's is very proud to give back to our communities and the people that support us. Macy's is excited to be part of the Pacific Coast Fog Fest 2013. They look forward to seeing you all soon. And I think they have presents too. Bling. <laughs> and other sponsors we have are Oceana Market, Pacific Coast Television, where this is being uh, broadcast right now. In fact, if you go home at any time during this parade, you can go home and watch this parade from the, the comfort of your living room. Also, the Pacifica Moose Lodge is a proud sponsor, and Recology of the Coast, which is sponsoring this stage right here. Now, just getting ready to come into, into view, we have a special treat, the Cabrilla Valimar Band from Pacifica, California. The Cabrillo and Valimar combined band is under the direction of Mark Unbehagen. How'd I do? <laughs> The drum major is Lucy Ramos, and the assistant drum major is R.J. Hayes. For your pleasure, they will be performing Captain Dane by William Owens.
That was the Cabrilla Velomar Marching Band. And now we have the mayor of Pacifica, Len Stone, and his wife, Jessica Stone. Please give them a big welcome to Len Stone and his wife, Jessica. Len was elected to city council in 2010 and became mayor in December of 2012. His wife, Jessica, is the president of the Pacifica Mothers Club. They love raising their young family here in Pacifica. Len and his family hope you enjoy another fun and safe Fog Fest weekend. By the way, thanks to Larry Passmore for driving Len and Jessica in his 69 Buick. And now we have another city council member, Sue Degree. Give her a hand, yeah. Councilwoman Degree welcomes you. Look one block west for whales and dolphins. She hopes you to have a great time today and please come again. Driving Sue today in her red F-top Pontiac T something, <laughs> Trans Am, is uh, Kenny Johansson Jr. Ooh, now we have a treat. Senator Jerry Hill. All right, give me a hand. Yes, California State Senator Jerry Hill has been a friend to Pacifica and the Coast Side for many years, first as a San Mateo County Supervisor and more recently, our State Assembly Member. Jerry serves currently as our State Senator. Thank you, Dean Pruitt, owner and driver of your beautiful 1975 yellow Corvette. And now we have Assembly Member Kevin Mullen. Kevin Mullen, former city council member and mayor of South San Francisco, was elected in November of 2012 to represent the 22nd Assembly District. Upon entering his first term, he was named Assistant Speaker Pro Tem and is very proud to represent Pacifica in the state legislature. And that's uh, Ed Mooney in his 72 Mustang. Hey, and now we have San Mateo County 3rd District Supervisor Don Horsley. Don is currently the president of the San Mateo County Board of Supervisors representing the 3rd District, which includes Pacifica. A former San Mateo County Sheriff, Don was also once a Pacifica police officer. Don loves the coastside and enjoys participating in the Fog Fest Parade. And that, of course, is Eric Rushames driving Supervisor Horsley today. And now we have a favorite of every year, Clean Jean, the Typing Queen of Headley Office Services, now celebrating 35 years in business. Jean Headley was on the original committee that created the Fog Fest way back in 1985 and is always happy to see a good turnout here at the Fog Fest. Uh, writing as co pilot today is Jean's good friend, Janice Seminoff. Trisha Calero is the lovely mermaid on the surfboard, which was generously donated for today's parade by Sh Sean Rhodes, owner of NorCal Surf Shop. Jean, Janice, and Trisha welcome all of you to the 28th annual Fog Fest. And remind everyone that when surf's up, be sure and get all your surfing supplies at the NorCal shop on Pedro Point. <laughs> and behind her is the windshield wizard, Daniel Darmati. The windshield wizard, a full service glass restoration company that offers windshield crack repairs by a mobile certified windshield repair technician. Also, they offer replacements on all automotive glass. The Windshield Wizard performs distortion-free scratch removal on all types of glass, home, office, or auto. The Windshield Wizard welcomes everyone to this 28th annual Fog Fest. <laughs> well, we have uh, an entire parade's worth right here with the Pacifica Play School. Pacifica Play School is a fabulous place for the preschool child. It was established in 1959 and features indoor and outdoor activities, kindergarten readiness programs, arts and crafts, literature, music, science, dramatic play, and more. Visitors are always welcome to come for a visit at 630 Hickey Boulevard in Pacifica. Pacifica Play School.
Now here's a fun float. It's actually a float, I would say. Josie's Pet Services. <laughs> Josie's Pet Services has been providing quality professional pet care to Pacifica for over six years by offering dog walking, pet sitting, medication administration, and pet taxi services. I'm assuming that would be the pet taxi right there. Taxi your pet in style in the Catmobile. <laughs> and now we have the Pacifica Co-op Nursery School. Here come our friends from the Pacifica Co-op Nursery School, a parent participation preschool that has been the park, part of the community for over 50 years. Director Catherine Miller and the rest of the co-op family hope that you have a happy day. Okay, now let's give a big hand to mother and daughter Cindy and Ellen Lindsay in a Ford 1927 Model T Roadster. A fun fact about this car is that the former owner was James Hetfield, lead singer of Metallica. Is that made out of heavy metal? <laughs> and now, that sounds like the Pacifica Tiger Sharks, Pop Warner football, and cheer. The Pacifica Tiger Sharks Pop Warner Football and Cheer Organization has 150 participants between the ages of 5 and 15. Come see them to play today at Terra Nova High. And now we have the Pacifica Mothers Club. The Pacifica Mothers Club is an organization for members of the community with young children. Some of the benefits of the club include the following. In a pinch, meals, fun-filled family events, play groups, discounts at various local businesses, and lasting relationships. The Pacifica Mothers Club. And now, getting prepared back here, we have Jefferson High School Blue and Gold Regiment. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the award-winning Jefferson Blue and Gold Regiment Band, which is performing the British Eighth by Zoe Elliott. The Jefferson High School Blue and Gold Regiment is under the direction of Elizabeth Owens. Their drum major is Sam McKeever, and their auxiliary captain is Simon Chow. Next up, we have Miss Pacifica Local, Brenna Epperson. This year's Miss Pacifica Local 2013 is Brenna Epperson. Growing up in Pacifica, Brenna was involved in the Pacifica 4-H, Pacifica Tiger Sharks Cheer, 
Karen Ovich here in Pacifica Islander Semi-Pro Cheer Team. She's looking better to, looking forward to bettering her community and will actively partake in community service projects. Oh boy, look who made an appearance at the Fog Fest Parade, the Nesquik Bunny and his crew. They're here to spread the happiness, providing bunny high fives and delicious Nesquik milk for all. They surely love seeing you here, the Nestle Nesquik Bunny. Now for the turnover. Christian Preschool, which has been in business for 31 years and is the only Christian preschool in Pacifica. The staff works hard with each child to help them reach their full potential in the areas of social adjustment and intellectual capabilities. Please feel free to drop in and visit their center and know that you are always welcome to the turnover Christian Preschool. The Pedro Pond Surf Club was established in 1987 and has been a positive force in Pacifica, Hi, raising money for a wide range of local community groups. Everyone at the Fog Fest is invited to the club's 23rd annual Big Chill Out Surf Contest on Saturday, October 12th. Linda Barbie. Picking it up since 1997. Over 43,000 volunteers joined their Coastal Cleanup Day and Earth Day citywide cleanups and removed over 130,000 pounds of debris since 2005. They host 10 cleanups and one habitat restoration event each month. Make waves, take a bite out of litter, save a shark today. Their website is pacificabeachcoalition.org. have the Masterworks Wood and Design, making wood bicycles handcrafted in San Jose. They're made from hardwoods and also urban woods from surrounding cities. They also have been cruisers and performance bikes made to order. Please visit their website at www.woodbicycle.com. That's really a bicycle made of wood? Let's see if they really ride. Those might be the coolest bicycles ever. And now we have Babes Running Start Preschool. Preschool's important. That's why they are named Babes Running Start Preschool. Because with so much at stake, they want to make sure that all of their children get a running start on their lives. Next up we have Sue's Performing Stars at the studio. Performing Stars is making her 30th year this year in business, teaching children and adults in tap, 
jazz, and ballet. She starts little ones as young as two and will teach up to 82 years old. And if you're 83, just come talk to her. She'll make a deal. Many classes are held all week long. Come dance with Sue and help her celebrate 30 years with a big celebration in June. She's looking forward to seeing you on the dance floor. Sue's performing star. Next up, we have Pacifica Lions Club. The Pacifica Lions Club, chartered in 1949, is composed of dedicated men and women that want to make a difference in their community by charitable donations and community service. Their motto is, we serve, and they do. The Pacific Alliance Club. <laughs> Moving on from the lion now to the platypus. The Pacifica Platypus Swim Club. The Pacifica Platypus Swim Club is a competitive age group swim team that trains at Terra Nova High School. Children aged 7 to 17 are welcome to join as long as they can swim 25 yards. PBSC encourages young people self-discipline, dedication, not only in swimming, but in life away from the pool as well. And we have Gold Rush Pro Wrestling. Is that what that is? Yes, Gold Rush Pro Wrestling is business of biggest homegrown sports entertainment company. They host exciting events for all ages with their high-flying moves and athletic abilities. Check out their next event, The Second Golden Rule, featuring a steel cage match on November 16th. Get ready to feel the rush! And now we shall segue from that to the Scouts of Pacifica. <laughs> Give it up for the Scouts, huh? That's Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts. They both learn valuable life skills and serve their community through fun, family-oriented activities. The Scouts of Pacifica represent the City of Pacifica and the Pacifica Skyline Council. Ah, now I see we have Mike Mooney's Gopher Group Portable Garden. <laughs> Sponsored by Linda Mar Ace Home Center on Pedro Point, this rolling planter will keep even the most tenacious gopher at bay. If you don't like where your garden is, drive it to the other side of the yard. Want to show off your garden to friends and family that live miles away? No need to invite them to your house. Drive your pride and joy to them. This garden can also outrun hungry deer and pesky snails. All you need is a truck. Everything else can be found at Lindemar Ace. Make sure Ace is your garden place. And now we have the Terra Nova High School Band under the direction of Michael Penns. Color Guard by Eric Lopez, Brass Instruction by Connor Kessler, Percussion Instruction by Augie Bozen, and their drum major is Julian Solano. The Terra Nova Band will be performing Arnhem by A.E. Kelly. Please come see the band perform their 2013 field show, The Giving Tree, at all the home football games at Terra Nova High School the Terra Nova High School Marching Band. Now we have the Pacifica 4-H Club. The Pacifica 4-H Club welcomes youth from 5 to 19 years old. Their members develop leadership skills and participate in community service opportunities. They offer activities such as arts and crafts, gardening, cooking, knitting, tree planting, cake decorating, ceramics, and jewelry. 
You can find their information on the Pacifica Tribute Happenings page, Pacifica 4-H. Oh, yeah. Here we have Mojaz, the house band at Mildred Owen Hall, home of Pacifica Performances. The concert hall, the building with the mural on Lindemar Boulevard, has music almost every weekend. Bluegrass, jazz, Celtic, guitar, rock and roll, and classical. Check out their website to see who's coming up next. www.pacificaperformances.org. Okay, now we have Pacifica Libraries. You want to know what's cooking? Our new library, that's what. For today, for tomorrow, and for all. Visit the library booth at the south end of Paul Meadow and view the conceptual plans of our new library. Our new civic treasure is a gift to ourselves and to future generations. Together, we can make it happen. And of course, we also have the bookmobile. Center of Pacifica. The Family Martial Arts Center of Pacifica has been teaching martial arts to the Pacifica community for over 18 years. They have classes for every age from three on up. They now offer Muay Thai tie kickboxing and Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Please come check them out and join the family. All right, otherwise it would make no sense at it. Next up, Bay Area's Best Karate School. No, really, that's their name. It's Bay Area's Best Karate School, which offers classes for both children and adults. Classes promote discipline, techniques, self-defense, and character development in a full, fun, and family-oriented atmosphere. Come see me at Eureka Square in Pacifica. Sounds like the Pacifica Girls Softball League. <laughs> Learn to throw, steal, and hit like a girl. And that's a good thing, because Pacifica Girls Softball League invites girls from Pacifica and surrounding areas to join in their softball family, which is celebrating 38 years in Pacifica. Pacifica Girls Softball League. Now, Pacifica Resource Center. Very important institution in town here. They work with businesses, organizations, and individuals in Pacifica to provide food, housing assistance, and basic need to Pacifica residents. Join them for their Rockaway Beach Stroll fundraiser Sunday, October 6th. I'll be there performing, by the way. Tickets are available at the Pacifica Resource Center booth. That's the Rockaway Stroll, October 6th. And it's now the Pacifica Sea Lions Aquatics Club. The Pacifica Sea Lions Aquatics Club is a competitive USA swimming team for swimmers 6 to 18 years of age. You, pre 
compete with the Platypus Club? No. Um, yes? 13 trains on Monday through Friday between 4 and 7 at the Brink Pool at Oceana High School. Yeah, we have one of our sponsors for the, the Fog Fest, the aptly named K-Fog 104.5 FM. My personal favorite radio station. K-Fog will be registering people on site for Bridge to Bridge, America's most beautiful run. All proceeds will benefit Northern California Special Olympics. Stop by the K-Fog booth and register now for the 7K or 10K run. K-Fog 104.5. Now we have Ignite Youth Ministry of Coastside Community Church. Coastside Community Church is located on the Alma Heights Christian School campus on Lindmar Avenue. Ignite Youth meets every Sunday at 9 o'clock a.m. for fellowship and every first and third Friday of the month for fun and games and activities. All sixth through twelfth graders are welcome to the Coastside Community Church of Ignite Youth Ministry. Pacifica human owners. I think the dogs might be the, the owners here. <laughs> and coming up behind the dogs, we have the Girl Scouts. That's right, Girl Scouts of Pacifica and Daly City. They're building girls of courage, confidence, and character who make the world a better place. They're creating opportunity girl, but girls want and experiences that change lives. is Pacifica Gardens Club. Pacifica Gardens Club meets the second Wednesday of the month at 7 o'clock p.m. at the American Legion Hall. Their annual tour held, is held in June each year and showcases gardens in Pacifica. Proceeds from the tour and fundraiser are donated to other local nonprofits. Please come join us for gardening, education, and fun the Pacifica Gardens Club. Now we have the Rotary and Terra Nova Oceana Interacts Club of Pacifica. For over 50 years, the Rotary Club of Pacifica has helped our community and the world by turning ideas into accomplishments. Members are volunteers who work to combat hunger, improve health and sanitation, provide job training and education, promote peace and eradicate polio under the motto, service above self. High school interact activities include Terra Nova's and Oceana's recycling program, a canned food drive, visits to the senior care facilities, participation in beach cleanups, and car wash. <laughs> we have uh, coming up the road here, the Ingrid B. Lacey Marching Bulldog Band. For your entertainment, the City of Pacifica proudly presents the Ingrid B. Lacey Marching Bulldog Band. Over the previous years, the band has received numerous awards throughout the Bay Area. The Bulldog Band drum majors are Audra Rosella and Ellie Smith. Auxiliary captain is Charisma Lapitan. The percussion captains are Patrick O'Melody and Maz Voorhees. The pipe major is Katie Scribner. The Bulldog Band is directed by Jerry W. Downs. Their percussion advisor is Jay Michaelis. And they're assisted by Michael Tolan. Today, the Marching Bulldogs will be performing Nobles of the Mystic Shrine by John Philip Sousa.
now approaching, we have the Pacifica Peace People. Acting locally for peace globally, Pacifica Peace People are watching today in honor of International Peace Day in protest of our nation's misguided foreign policy in the Middle East and mourning the terrible loss of so many lives in useless wars. The Pacifica Peace People, because hey, what's so funny about peace, love, and understanding? And we have the Golden Gate National Recreation Area Roving Ranger. The National Park Service and Parks Conservancy invite you to visit the Roving Ranger, a mobile trailhead designed to serve as a visitor contact and information center. Stop by to collect information about park sites, events, and volunteer programs. Um, although this old bread truck doesn't offer any fancy food items, it does come fully stocked with a mini library, comfortable lounge area, and its own in-house weather monitoring system. Well, I have one of those too, and it's a beautiful day. Okay, next up we have Oceana High School. Oceana High School is located on Paloma Avenue with a magnificent view of the ocean for which it is named. This one right over there. Recognized as a California Distinguished School in 2009 for its alternative college prep program, Oceana is a small school with a big spirit. Oceana, give it up. Okay, now we have the Pacifica Spindrift Players Community Theater. Please welcome the actors from our very own community theater, Pacifica Spindrift Players. 2013 marks their 54th season of presenting live community theater for Pacificans and the surrounding Bay Area. As you may be aware, these are troubled times for our lovely theater in the park. Specifically, the main stage at Crespi Drive has been yellow tagged. So please know that during the construction phase, PSP is continuing its mission to provide quality and Tavern.com. They are coming down the street in a Miller O'Brien two truck and a 1970 Plymouth Bevelator satellite Winter's Wagon. Now we have Good Shepherd School. Good Shepherd School has provided a quality education for K through 8th graders for over 40 years. Good Shepherd strives to develop the whole child as reflected in their curriculum. Tours are available for all grade levels. Please call to arrange your personal tour to Good Shepherd School. Next up, we have Masonic Youth Organizations, the leaders of the future. Job's Daughters International, International Order of Rainbow for Girls, and Demole International are the three youth groups of the Masonic family. These are premier organizations for young women and men that provide a wholesome environment based on the foundation of high morals, love of country, family, and friends, and respect for others throughout the world. Many well-known celebrities are alumni of these organizations, including John Wayne, Walt Disney, and Sandra Day O'Connor. And uh, behind that, we have Ms. Rita and her Community Center Dancers. Serves up Pacifica, it's time for Dancing in the Street. Ms. Rita and her Community Center Dancers are delighted to be here. Ms. Rita has 15 years experience teaching children and adults karate, dance, art, and theater. 
for winter dance class sessions for children begin November 5th. Check with Park Beach and Rec for registration information. Please stop by the Sandcastle Contest and say hello to Ms. Rita and the Community Center Dancers. And now the Pacifica School District Bus, which obviously gets around. Cowabunga kids, don't forget to look both ways before crossing the street for the school year. Pacifica School District wants to welcome back students by practicing safety first. Have a fun and safe fog fest from the Pacifica School District bus. Now we have the Pacifica Islanders football team. Welcome to Pacifica's own AAA minor league football team. They are members of the Pacific Coast Football League. The team was established in 2008. They play a spring season and their home field is Terra Nova High School's Tiger Stadium. Brian Martinez is president and Tom Piccolotti serves as general manager. Go Islanders! And we have the North Coast County Water District, which is committed to providing the highest quality service in the most cost-effective, reliable, and environmentally sensitive manner. Please visit their website at www.nccwd.com. That's North Coast County Water District. Now we got Pacifica Bicycle Group. These young locals are a group of outstanding bicycle riders striving to achieve their dream of a bicycle riding park here in Pacifica. We got a skate park, now it's time for a bike park. They all have amazing talent and a great attitude about life. The group is here as a team to show that there is a great need for a safe place for them to ride the Pacifica Bicycle Group. All right, now we have the San Francisco Bulls Professional Hockey League. Yeah. Now, I've been checked out a Bulls game this year, a couple of them, and they're a lot of fun at the, over at the Cow Palace. Please check them out, the San Francisco Bulls Professional Hockey Team. Next up, we have the City of Pacifica Public Works Department.